best free project management tools out there. ClickUp versus Monday.com versus Asana. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you what you need to know about ClickUp about monday.com and about asana so having said that let's just jump into the video now all three of these softwares are amazing they all have amazing features and they're all very similar the only thing that differentiates them is their pricing their ui and their usability how easy it is for us to use these softwares these are the three things that mainly people use these things so we have monday.com right here right the sign up process is very simple when you come over here they ask you some questions and you are good to go and you can create a project right here so right here this is how monday.com looks like you can see right here you have the main table view you can change the view by clicking on the button and selecting whichever view you want if you want to add applications you just simply click on the apps button and select the apps that you want from the list and you also have amazing integration options over here as well as the automations as well so monday.com has all of the amazing features that you would ever need right creating a project or creating a workspace is very similar you just simply click on the three buttons and over here you can create a new workspace if you want to create a new project within a workspace just simply click on this plus button and select whichever view you want whether it's a dashboard view board view documents folder whatever you want you can do that very similar the pricing of monday.com is different though because if we click on see all plans you can see that it starts at the basic nine dollars per seat per month it is free so keep that in mind it is free and over here you can change the amount of seat you want you go with three seats it's going to be different so it is free all right you don't have to worry about that you don't have to ever pay but for some features you need to get a paid plan all right so you can see right here it starts at nine dollars per seat per month and down below you can see all of the features that this plan includes unlimited free viewers unlimited items unlimited boards 200 templates 20 plus column types you have the application on both android and ios and you can create a dashboard based on one board second one is the standard one you can see it right here it's 12 dollars per seat per month and as i said before if you go ahead and increase the number of seats that you have the payment is going to change as well you can see right here and this is billed annually so keep that in mind if you switch to monthly all right you will see that it is a bit more expensive if you go with yearly you will save 18 percent. so keep that in mind and down below you get all of these features include one in the basic but you also get a timeline and gantt view calendar view guest access 250 automations per month and you also get 250 integration actions per month now for most people i would say that you know the free version does everything that you would ever possibly need but if for some reason you want to upgrade then i would recommend going the extra mile and going with the standard plan which is 12 dollars. Uh, it is three dollars more than the basic one but you get a little bit more uh, stuff you know like more automations more integrations uh, guest access calendars and stuff like that so you get a little bit more and if you scroll down you can see more in depth of what i'm talking about right here so basic one only gives you five gigabytes of file storage whereas in the standard you get up to 20 gigabytes and in the pro version you have almost 100 gigabytes but that's fine you don't need that much you have 20 gigabytes per user of course keep that in mind so yeah and you also get a bunch of cool other stuff such as zoom integrations timeline view calendar view you get four guests built as one user so keep that in mind you can have four guests and pay for one user which is also pretty cool but yeah uh, standard one is the go-to if you actually want to buy uh, monday.com now let's go ahead and move over to clickup and see how it's doing over here so let's go ahead and log in into clickup and clickup is very similar to monday.com even asana they're all very similar to each other as i said the only difference is the usability and how easy it is to use and basically the price of each of those uh, accounts and in clickup this is how you are presented with so here you will be able to create a workspace now unlike monday.com where you they basically ask you questions in the beginning and they give you a simple you know work area they create this uh, view where you can instantly create tasks and get started with in clickup you have to create them manually when you log in you have to click on this button right here and you have to click on you know create a space and in this space uh, you can select a list view a board view 
whatever it is that you want, right? Click on board view to find it. And since I don't have any task, all I would have to do is click on add task over here and create the task name. So task one, task two, task three, and so and so forth, right? Same with over here in the list version as well. I should be able to get them, but it didn't. Okay, it's created. Uh, my task has been created, but I don't see it. Let's go take a look at the board view. We already have that, yeah. Here we go. All right. So it is now here. So as you can see, this is how it would look like, right? You have to create tasks for yourself and you have to arrange them however you want instead of, you know, uh, being presented by first. And both of them have integrations and automation options. So if you click on automations right here, you can check out the automations, how you can create different automations over here. If you want recurring automations, you can do that as well so yeah in terms of pricing wise i would say that you can it's a little bit cheaper than monday.com so over here you can see uh, they give you 100 mbs of storage for free unlimited task unlimited free plan two-factor authentication you get everything right kanban view and all of that whereas in the unlimited version which is seven dollars per seat per month or per user per month you get all of them but you also get unlimited storage so you can see right here you have unlimited storage whereas in monday.com you would only get uh, 20 gigabytes uh, but in clickup it's unlimited so unlimited storage unlimited integrations unlimited dashboard so keep that in mind it is a little bit better than monday.com in my opinion although the user interface of monday.com is so easy to use there's literally no comparison uh, so win some and you lose some if you want something cheaper that offers you better storage and better options then click up is the go-to if you want something easy to use quickly one two three then monday.com is your answer but how does asana fare up to these two let's go ahead and check that out so let's go ahead and log in i want to log in into asana now over here this is how asana looks like right uh, you can see you have everything lined up pretty good you have your tasks over here you have your projects down below you have your people that you work with over here now on the left hand side you have your main options and if you click on the projects it's going to take you over here to the projects right and this is how it looks like over here you can change the view by clicking on this button right here and clicking on timeline dashboard workload and yeah everything looks pretty good there's a bunch of different views that you can choose there it also has customized option where you can add different fields different tasks where you can add different rules automations or if you would prefer integrations as well so it's pretty cool and it works just as well as the other two although i would say it is much much more easier to use as you can see right here everything is right there in front of you you have your tasks over here projects and everything you just simply click on the project you want to enter boom there you go you can change the view at the top boom there you go you want to add more stuff to it click on a tab and add more stuff to it boom how much does asana cost for asana as you can see there are only two plans the paid ones and that is not including the free one you basically get uh, in the free one you basically get everything uh, unlimited essentials projects stacks activity log storage so again unlimited storage unlimited comments unlimited activity log all of that unlimited tasks unlimited project free project views you get list view board view and calendar view you get uh, security essentials basic workflow basic reporting and all of that Whereas if you upgrade to, let's say, $11 per user per month, which is billed annually, but if you go with monthly, it's going to be $13.49, you get everything in the personal, but you also get unlimited essentials, projects, tax, activity log storage, you know, all of those. Five project views, you get list board views, but on top of them, you also get a Gantt view and a timeline view, which you didn't have in the previous one. If, you, if it matters to you, then of course, you should get this skilled security you have unlimited uh, free guests admin consoles and private projects automated workflow so you have workflow builder with up to 250 automations per month whereas over here you get free integrations with everyday apps including microsoft 365 google space and all of that and you also get the asana ai so which one would you choose right so here it's seven dollars unlimited right it's a little bit tougher to use click up monday.com is easy to use but it's twelve dollars which is you know a little bit expensive but yeah twelve dollars and you only get around 20 gigabytes of file storage uh, whereas in the clickup it's unlimited and in asana even if you have the free version you get unlimited storage so it depends on you in my opinion asana is the go-to but if you really really want the gantt view and the timeline view 
and some more automations then of course you're gonna have to upgrade it to $11 per month it is easier to use than monday.com and it is less expensive it has more storages as well but I would say that it is a little bit expensive because it's $11 and ClickUp provides you with all of that but only for $7 so it really depends on you how you look at it but if I had to choose one, I would choose ClickUp. So there you have it. Let me know in the comment sections, which one would you choose? Asana or Monday.com or ClickUp. If we are talking about the free plan only, right? Then you can see in the free plan, ClickUp does not give you anything. It basically gives you 100 MB of storage. Whereas Asana gives you free unlimited storage. As you can see over here, unlimited essentials has in storage over there. And Monday.com, also gives you five gigabyte of storage in the basic one but in the free version you also don't get a lot of storage so you only get like one gigabyte i believe so if we're talking free then asana is the go-to if we're talking paid then ClickUp is the go-to so let me know which one you choose so very simple this is how you do these were all the things that you needed to know about so let me know in the comment section what you would choose and again thank you for watching and until next time take care and goodbye